Okay, I thought today we're going to make the hat. So to do that, the first thing we're going to have to do is cut the top off of this head here. Okay? So I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and do that right now. Okay, we're over here at the bandsaw. What I want to do is I want the hat to be pulled down as far as possible without interfering with his eyebrows. So I'm going to cut it about right there. And I'm going to do it at a slant and I want to get it also down as close to his ears as I can. So when I do that, so sit that in there, about like that. And I have to watch my bottom ear, especially. Holding on to it real tight. There we go. Now you'll notice he's got a slight tilt to it. Now I didn't really plan that, but uh, that's good because uh, hats hardly ever sit on a person's head straight. How can you see the oh. tilt? Okay, we've got the top of his head cut off. I sanded this perfectly flat here on my little disc sander. Here's the piece we cut off. Remember the blank? How we cut that off? Well, that's the piece we cut off. So that's what I'm going to use to make the hat. So I'm going to put his head on here. All right there, make sure I got lots of wood all the way around him, which I do right there. And I'm just going to draw that on there right now. Like that. Now I'm going to go cut, and I'm going to cut outside that circle. You'll see when I come back. And I'm going to cut across there to make that flat, all right? You don't need okay, to see. Okay, here's my blank. You can see my pencil line there. That's going to go on the front of his head, or on his head, just like that. You can see we got still got lots around the outside, so we're ready to whittle on this now. Okay, I sanded the top of his head perfectly smooth on my little disc sander. I drilled a hole in it, put that dowel in there, or drill a hole in it. Using my little lead pencil, I colored the outside of the hole there, like I always do. And I made a corresponding mark on this side here. You can see the lead from that pencil that transferred over. I cut me a short little dial. I put the hat on his head in the position that I wanted it, which is right there. And I made a little mark right there even with the bridge of his nose. So I have a center mark, okay? Now it's kind of screwball here, but don't worry about that. We're going to carve that away. But as we do this, we want to make sure we leave enough ridge around here for when we insert our bill, it's going to hold it, okay? So now I'll start carving that hat top. Okay, I roughed out, smoothed off the hat. Got still got plenty of space up here in the front. I forgot to mention before, we also have to allow for this right here. This is the pad that holds the lamp, okay? So I'm marking that on here right now. And then another thing on this, this head and this hat, because these two things are perfectly smooth and they match up just fine, we're not going to insert the hat on top of the head like we normally do. We've got a good match there, so we're just going to glue it as it is, okay? I'm going to take that off, just make a couple cuts here, not too much, we're only talking about the thickness of leather, not like that, and we'll just continue that up here a little. Lines. Now this surface here is 
a little flap called that lantern. So I'm going to make it a little flatter, but I'm still not going to take off this part here. We need this for that bill. Okay? Let's just see what we've got here so far. Looks good. Let me just check my drawing there. That looks alright. Okay, so looking at the hat, now we can go in there and just, uh, you know, just make some wrinkles. They don't have to be too much. But, you know, the secret is just to keep them, keep them uneven. Texture sort of like that. You can even use your gouge to, you know, just scoop out areas. Just don't mess with this. That's important. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and we'll come back and move on. Okay, I've roughed up his hat enough. It looks pretty good now. So I'm just going to set that aside for the moment and we're going to work on his, uh, work on this piece right here. Okay, now here's one I've already made. This will go on the lantern and go right there. And I'll show you how I did it. Now the one I made for this guy here, this is metal. Well, I think this wooden one will be a lot easier to make and that way you people that don't have access to the tools and things will be able to make this one out of wood just as easy, okay? So first of all, you're going to need a piece of thin wood. Now here's a piece of scrap that I have, just thin wood. You're going to need a gouge, just the gouge I use, just a flex cut gouge. This one is, but uh, you can use any kind of gouge. So what we want to do is we want to uh, first establish how big our circle is, which is about like that. Let me put that right there. Okay, grain joining this way, and knowing that means we're going to be able to carve both ways like this pretty easily, and not necessarily that way. That's going to be hard, but with the circular shape of our gouge and cutting across grain, it goes pretty quickly. And I, you know, you can cut outside your outside your uh, line, because that line is the fine line. And just turn it around and turn it the other way. Hopefully your gouge is a little sharper than mine is. alcohol and water. Hopefully that might make the carving a little easier, yep. So we've reached that point. Now it's just a matter of taking your knife and cutting away the excess. This is where you need x-ray vision. Anyway, just keep working at it to get it down to your circle. All right. Now, let me 
get down to this point. Don't cut that off. Keep that. That's going to be your handle to hold on to this thing. Now remember the grain's running this way. So now you can just start going around it. Be careful not to grab too much because if you grab too much you're going to chip off some of your circle. Still got it on that handle. Go ahead and do as much of the shaping as you can because it's going to be hard to hold. Okay, that's just about it. So now we can just sort of work our way in here. off to complete your circle. Mm -hmm. That's a little thin there. That got a little thin there. You can see it split on me right there. Hopefully that won't happen to you. But fortunately I have already made one so I don't need to worry about that. I Toss that one on the floor. Now, after you get that done, get you some super glue, and it's best to use this uh, accelerator. Hey, Great Plains. A couple weeks, there's Great Plains wood carving show up in Wichita. Well, I'm headed up there. Anyway, take your super glue and uh, find you something, maybe a tack. split this to hold on to take your take your super glue I'm not going to do it because I already did it on this one and soak this thing especially on the outer edges and especially back here in the back because this is where most of the pores are open back here on that curve and then just take this accelerator and give it a couple of little squirts and it'll set that stuff off right away and uh, really reinforce this and then take it over and uh, sand it okay and that's going to be just about it for this video because I'm just about out of battery. So we'll pick this up again in the next one and uh, make that lantern. So until next time, I'll talk to you later.